In this video, we show you how to configure a multi-unit Apollo Thunderbolt setup. Up to four Thunderbolt Apollo interfaces can be daisy-chained in order to use their combined inputs, outputs, and DSP. You can mix and match any Thunderbolt Apollo models. However, only one desktop Apollo can be used at a time, such as an Apollo Twin, Apollo X4, or Apollo Solo. Thunderbolt 2 and Thunderbolt 3 Apollos can be mixed by using a Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 2 adapter. All Apollos should be daisy-chained to a single Thunderbolt port on the computer. Desktop Apollo models such as Apollo Twin and Apollo X4 only have a single Thunderbolt port, so they must be placed at the end of the chain. In a multi-unit system, one Apollo is designated as the monitor unit and is used for monitor output, alt monitoring, and queue outputs within console. Connect your monitor speakers to the monitor outputs on this unit. The other Apollos in the system are the expander units. The monitor volume knobs on any rack mount expander units will be disabled. However, if an Apollo Twin or Apollo X4 is connected, its monitor knob can be used to control the output level of the monitor unit. The monitor outputs on the expander units will not receive the main mix. However, you can route signals to these outputs from within your DAW. If an Apollo Twin or Apollo X4 is connected, it can also be used to enable alt monitoring, mono, dim, and mute. Apollo Solo and Arrow can be used in a multi-unit setup, however, they cannot be used as monitor controllers like Apollo Twin or Apollo X4. The input channels of all connected Apollos will show up in console, starting with the monitor unit's inputs. The meter bridge at the top of console will display different colors for each connected Apollo. To see the name of each Apollo, right-click on the meter bridge and select Show Device Names. On the Hardware panel of Console Settings, you can rename each connected Apollo unit. This allows you to easily see which Apollo inputs are receiving signal at a glance. The Apollo that is on top of the list in the Hardware panel is the Monitor unit. This is shown by the loudspeaker symbol next to the device name. To make another Apollo the monitor unit instead, simply drag that Apollo to the top of the list. When digital mirroring is enabled, the monitor signal is mirrored to the stereo digital outputs on the monitor unit. The format will be AES-EBU if using an Apollo 16 or SPDIF if using any other Apollo model. Digital mirroring cannot be used on expander units. Note that on Apollo X4, Apollo 8P, and Apollo X8P, Digital mirroring is only available when the digital output is set to SPDIF on the hardware panel of console settings. Cues can be mirrored to any available analog or digital output by choosing the outputs from the corresponding drop-down menu on the Cue Outputs panel. The number of cues, as well as the availability of other features such as alt monitoring or digital mirroring, depends on the model of the monitor unit. For example, if using an Apollo Twin as the monitor unit, only two cues will be available, even if a rack mount Apollo is connected as an expander unit. In general, it's best to use a rack mount Apollo as the monitor unit to get the most functionality in console. On the I.O. matrix panel of console settings, all inputs and outputs of the connected Apollos will be shown in the same order that the devices appear on the hardware panel. The monitor outputs of the expander units are available as assignable outputs in the I.O. matrix, so that you can send signals to these outputs from your DAW. Apollos in a multi-unit system are synced internally via the Thunderbolt connection. No additional word clock cables are required. To clock external devices to the Apollo system, use the word clock output from the monitor unit. If you're syncing multiple external devices to a multi-unit Apollo system, we recommend using a BNC splitter to send the word clock output from the monitor unit to each external device. To clock a multi-unit Apollo system to an external device, send the clock signal into the monitor unit and select the corresponding clock source and console. The monitor unit will distribute the external clock signal to the other Apollos via Thunderbolt. Plugins loaded on a console channel can only be processed by the DSP of the Apollo that the channel belongs to. For example, when loading plugins on one of your monitor unit's console channels, only the monitor unit's DSP can be used to process those plugins. This means that depending on the plugins you load on one Apollo's input channels, you may reach that Apollo's DSP limit and be unable to load additional plugins on its input channels, even though the overall DSP usage meter shows some DSP available. 
Channel DSP pairing can be used to load larger plugin chains on console input channels and is set per unit on the hardware panel of console settings. Enabling more DSP pairs on a particular Apollo reduces the number of virtual channels available on that unit, but does not affect the virtual channel count of the other units. For more info, see our UAD Basics video on channel DSP pairing. Plugins loaded on console's AUX channels are always processed by the monitor unit and are not affected by channel DSP pairing.